If you're going to spend on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. It's got all the best in-game purchases. They fight for market share with Apple and Google. That's why they offer these discounts. Use promo code MUSH5 and information of how to download this is in the description to the video as well as in the Discord. Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. So a lot has changed, a lot has happened, a lot has been released since the game has uh, come to the market. And I want to go over some of the class builds. And probably the most popular one is Archer and in particular Crossbow. So want to go over that in our Discord. If you're not in our Discord, uh, join it. It's in the description to the video, and it has guides for everything. One of the ones I want to go over right now is Archer and Wind Crossbower. And honestly, I'm not just saying this because it's our Discord. I do believe it's the best advice you can get anywhere. Uh, my man Corey has gone through tons of websites, tons of different information. We've all tested stuff, figured stuff out. And one of the things that makes the uh, guides in here so good is that it actually details it all the way from, you know, like if you spend a lot of money, if you don't spend a lot of money, and it also gives uh, information on different options that you can have and why. So if you go into our Discord and then you go into class guides, so right here at the guides, tips, class guides, we're going to look at the wind crossbower here today. And we're going to go over a bunch of them and over different days and go over it because the game's changed a lot so like if you watch some of my videos or other people's videos from a couple even just a couple weeks ago and then like there's the new dragon mount boom changes everything so wanted to look at different stuff so anyways wind crossbower first thing what do you got to prioritize so awakening level in different orders and awakening level if you don't know what that is it's these so you're gonna get awakening stones throughout the game when you're playing and it's random though it'll open one of these six but these are the priorities that you got to get it on and to be honest you got to get them all so you need all six stones to be able to advance but some are more important and if you're really really lucky like let's say you got the first three here for archer and you could then in theory, possibly in the cross server arena, I don't recommend this, but I could see a situation where if you got if you really lucked out and got these top three awakening stones in the shop here, then I could see why you would maybe prioritize a couple times getting some pink souls, choosing that as the uh, prize. Only if you got lucky, though, and you're probably not going to get lucky and get those three. So that's the order that you want them in. Basic attack, global attack, and then crit damage. And if you go into here and you want to see them, you can see them all here. Attack seal, crit resistance, crit damage, pal seal, defense, HP. And then let's uh, look down here. That's I'm warrior right now. So what do you want in the statue? Now, one thing I'm going to say here is I do have a statue set up for uh, archers, and it's right here. It's a work in order, so I do have to get the uh, middle one changed again. Like, I, I saved the flowers, and I was spinning just for the uh, lucky spinners, and that's what it was. So I did have an attack there, but it wasn't triple S. So anyways, I have global combos and crit damage, but on here, he has five global combos, now that's early, right? Early. So normal to chaos. And what he's talking about there is the stages right here. So I'm at infinity eight. So when you're early, you can get away with just all combo. And then at higher stages, you're going to need to switch and have some crit damage in there because you're going to have to get lucky, basically. Some bosses, you're going to have to get lucky if you're at infinity and revelation all the way to like Revelation 10. Now, one thing I'm going to say about statue, these are guides if everything else was perfect for you. If they're not perfect, you can use the statue as a way to make up ground in other areas. Like, let's say on your gear, 
you just don't get enough uh, combo or you don't get enough crit rate. And you can use different things to make up for that. So it's kind of a balancing act thing. And so are some of the areas in relics. That, well, one in particular, the masks. And we'll talk about that. So right here on the gear, this is the part I really, really like about this guide. You don't see this very often anywhere. So the ideal rate that you want of crit rate and combo, because these are the two that you want on your gear. So you basically want 100% combo and 60% crit rate. Now, so if you have, you know, 110 combo and only... 40 crit rate you should be bringing down that combo again that crit rate up so going with some gear that doesn't have it and then optional combo and crit rate plus evasion so that's the third one like if you're not going to it's it's hard right you can't get them all like to get all combo and crit rate it's probably going to take a year so if you have to pick a third evasion would be the one to grab and then Let's look in here and rune stones. Which are the ones you're going to want? So when it says global combo damage and global basic attack, what he means here is if you go into enchantment, we're talking about the set piece, the set piece buffs. These ones right here. Uh, look through some of that stuff on your own. Join the Discord. And here, notes. So right here, we're looking at relics. And let's uh, go into it. So this book is used for bosses and this book is for stages, PVPs. Use this one if you have low crit rate. So let's actually go into the relics because that's what I wanted to talk about next. And this mask, as I said in the statue, I use statues to balance stuff out. This mask is used to balance stuff out too. So for me as a warrior... And for every, almost everybody, basically, you're going to be looking at crit rate or combo mask if you're archer. If you're warrior, it's going to be crit rate or combo. Which one do I want? And then the other masks here, evasion. That's a pretty low chance that most people are going to want that one. And then increased skill crit rate by 5%. That's uh, going to be over from the mage category. But... You're going to be looking at crit rate or counter. Ideally, you're going to put it on the counter. But if you don't get enough crit rate, then you're going to have to put it over there. And the uh, books here that are mentioned for monsters, he's talking about over here. It says specifically in boss levels. And in boss levels. Increased damage to boss levels. So... Those ones are going to be PvE specific. And now, fusion priority. Okay, so we're going to go over to the pink souls here. And the ones that you're going to want to focus on the most are going to be the top one, combo and boss damage. And it's right here. I'm a warrior, so I'm not focusing on this one. But because it's combo damage and you're an archer... You really need to. And then the next one would be attack and healing. Heals per basic skill. And it's right here. So global attack and healing rate. And that's kind of one that every uh, class does need to look at. And then you can see the other ones down there. But those are going to be the top priorities that you're going to look at. Now, this is something really cool too. Family Brawl. What should you be focusing on? And right here get world snare if you don't have blitz assault or clone if you have one of them two skills already then buy the red soul selection so basically it's walking you through how you should be focusing in the shops and the shops are so important i'm now here in the uh, wing talents and i'll show you where that is in game if we go over here into the wing back and then you click talent in the middle this is what we're talking about here so if you are looking at the archery area you should be focusing on the right main focus in the archery telepath is the combo damage so 
uh, right here in archery, you're going to want to go down here and basically get over here to combo damage area. And then in, let's see what else we got here. Main focus in the Fury talent path is pal damage. Pals still attack even when stunned. If you have pink fusion for healing, then you can upgrade the healing. And main boss in the sorcery path is the basic attack damage. So you can look those up and find them on your own. And wind crossbow beginner guide. So this is really cool where he matches all the different skills and pals and relics that you would possibly want in PvP. And then it shows later in the game. So it has PvP and bosses. And then it shows later in the game as you get more advanced and you might be getting some, you know, some yellow skills, some orange skills. And there's different things here, here as you move along. So it actually walks you through all the way from early in the game to later. And, well, I guess what we would call end game right now, even though we're not there. And then right here, the red skills, it walks you through. And then it gets into expert where you have all pink skills. Okay? Then, what if you got all those but you spend a lot of money and you have almost everything? So right here is a whale guide. And this is where basically you have every single paid item in the game. And then there's additional loadouts that you could try if things aren't working for you. You can start to practice with all different things like this and figure out which ones to replace. And I did a video yesterday on testing. And this is the sort of stuff you could do. You could test against someone and be like, all right, I'm going to change all this stuff to this stuff. Because you can see they're very, very similar. But there's like one slight change in each. Everything's different for every player, right? You're not gonna have all of this and be able to implement all of it, but you may be able to implement some of it or certain aspects of it. And work with what you got, don't spend too much on the game. If you are gonna spend, use the code MUSH5 with Aptoid, get uh, all the best in-game discounts available and likes.